Hey guys, Kevin with On Point Pro Styles in Gainesville, Georgia. Today I want to go over the squeegees you use on an everyday basis, or you're going to use on an everyday basis. What the colors mean, um, the hardness levels, even what durometer means, or the durometer number. We're going to go over all the basics, your handled squeegee blades, your, now this is specific to the Fusion Turbo Pro uh, turbo squeegees, uh, your hard cards, as well as corner cards, which are also hard cards. So they're all different colors um, to help you quickly identify softer to harder. Now, the information to know what that is, isn't just readily available. So that's what the point of this video is, as well as me kind of giving you my thoughts on what the squeegees are best used for. So for this, we're gonna start with the handled squeegee plates that's oh so common. Gotta have them, right? There's a bunch of different ones some I don't have, and even some that uh, I've got as hand squeegees, but they are also available as a squeegee blade squeegee that I don't have. So we'll talk about those as well. So the Crush Blades by Fusion, they are uh, labeled softest or a number anyway, softest number one. You've got the clear, which is a softer number two. You've got orange crust, which is a soft number three. So what does that mean? So the pink one, we'll start off with the softest one. The pink one has a soft level number one and its durometer rating or hardness is 85. It's really soft. It's a good cleaning squeegee, but installing tint, it, lends, it tends to be just a little too soft to really extract a lot of water out. And the softer the blade, the more streaks you get uh, or scuffs you get from the blade. So I've used the Pink Crush, not a big fan, um, just because you gotta really keep the glass really, really wet in order to keep this thing moving. Next one up, I'm gonna go in durometer levels. There's a black one. Now the black one is actually labeled PPF Blackout, but is actually harder than this one. So whether it's a PPF labeled blade or not, it really doesn't matter. If it works for you, use it. So the next one up, that's the next hardness level. This is an 88 durometer, so a little bit uh, harder than the pink. Uh, and what does that mean? Let's just real quick cover that. So durometer numbers anywhere from like, say your low of an 80 up to a 95. Uh, is going to be the most common. Uh, an 88 or an 85, I'm sorry, is really, 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 really soft. A 95 blade, um, which is a flat out, is really, 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 really hard. So you're you're going from rubbery to almost has a, a slight plastic feel to it. That's how hard it is. So the durometer numbers, the hardness varies a lot in just a small range of numbers. So 85 to 87 or 87 to 90 is a pretty decent size difference. So again, the black one is coming in at an 88 durometer or hardness. The next one up is clear. Uh, I'm kind of a fan of this one. I like it, just still a little bit too soft. It's a 90 durometer, softer number two. Uh, the next one, these are the blades that I have here. Uh, again, there's gonna be probably more that you'll see, more that you'll find. I just don't have the info on those because I don't have them here, but I have some of the most common used blades out there. So now this is a very popular blade. I like this blade. I stopped using it. I'm starting to use another one and I'll tell you about that in a second. But this is a soft number three and it comes in at a 92 durometer. So from 90 to 92, this one just seems to be, this was a go-to for a very long time for me. Still is, it's in the background. Uh, next one up, I've got the red line. Yes, so the red line extractor, there's a, um, there's just the extractor blade, there's the red line extractor, there's a magnum extractor. I have the red line extractor here. The red line extractor comes in at 95, very hard blade. Uh, and that's actually my blade I'm using now. So I, I, I like the hardness, it makes it a little difficult on curvy windows. It doesn't want to conform to curvy windows, so it can tend to kind of skip spots. Um, so I still have an orange crust loaded just for that. But the harder blade tends to push more water out a lot easier. So that's kind of why I'm using the Redline Extractor. But like you see, I still have an orange crush available when I need it. So the flat out 95 as well. Really not a huge difference between the two. This one's not cropped. This one's not cropped. This one's beveled. This one's not beveled. They come in beveled and cropped. So red or yellow at that point, choose your poison. Uh, let's see, these are ever more getting popular. Um, they're hybrid blades, so there's a harder and a softer side to them. So starting with, uh, let's see, the blue and orange. Um, the orange side is softer at 85. I haven't gotten me one of these yet. This is a handheld one. 
um, good for like PPF and stuff, but they make one for the squeegee handle. I haven't got one yet, but I will. Uh, I like the fact you can ch pick and choose, just flip the blade around. You got 85 on one side, 94, so pretty hard on the other side. So like I said, I have basically that here in two different squeegees. And if you're one that only has the one squeegee or only wants to carry around one squeegee, you're a mobile guy, something like that, this would be a cool blade to have. Simply flip it around, bam. Uh, and then this one is really, really soft. Probably gonna, you know, you're not gonna want to maybe use it for window tin. I'd say probably more so PPF. However, it's still got a decent hardness level to it. So the black side, it's got, so in the middle, it's got red, which is that 95 durometer, so to help it stay rigid. But the actual uh, squeegee surface, the black side is harder. It's gonna be at your 80 durometer, and the yellow side is at a 70 durometer. So pretty, pretty soft on that. I would probably be more prone to use the black side, if at all. Uh, let's talk about another popular one. These are the Fusion Turbo Pro Squeegees. They come in lots of different colors. Uh, and I'll go through these from softest to hard. The softest one I don't have here, it's a pink one and it comes in at 77. Again, it seems that's too soft for my liking. Um, you, you risk streaks, it being rubbery. I feel like you could grab the film and fold the film a little bit easier if you don't keep it really wet and lubricated. So just know that. The green one, same thing. It's uh, it's an 80 durometer, so a little bit soft for my taste. Um, so I don't use it, just me personally. So just keep in mind, the softer the blade is, a little bit more difficult it could be to use, unless you're doing, say, PPF. So you're using a lot of water, and you're keeping it completely wet. That'd be a great PPF blade. Um, black, next one up, black. Nice softness, it's an 82. Still probably a little bit too soft for my blood, but not bad. Next one up, we got a yellow one. Yellow comes in at 85. So that's kind of the go-to. You'll see a lot of guys using the yellow one. Um, it's a good one. It's that good mid-range, um, conforms to the glass. So again, the harder it is, the better it is to push water out. The softer it is, um, the more it conforms to the glass. So you kind of give up one or the other. So if it's soft, it's hard to push water out, but it conforms really well. If it's hard, it's better to push water out, but harder to conform to curvy glass. So another thing to keep in mind. That's why a lot of people stay in the middle range so they can kind of get the best of both worlds. You got the orange one coming in at 92. I like that one. That's kind of my favorite. Um, still has some flexibility to it. Now, we don't usually use them this big unless you use like an eight inch handle or something. We usually cut them down or you'll cut them at angles or you can buy them cropped um, or you can buy longer ones and then cut them the way you want them. But anyways, that's my go-to. And then the last, the hardest one, red, just like the red line extractor and the flat out for your squeegee blades. It's harder, it comes in at 95. So your pink and green, your softest, your orange and red, the hardest on the turbo squeegees. Let's see, what else, what else, what else? Corner cards, very popular. You're gonna use them. I'm, I'm dealing with the tri-edge cards right now, um, which are my favorite. There's um, easy reach cards. There's, I think Gator makes one, but I have them. I just always go for the tri-edge. Three main colors you're gonna see with the tri-edge. It's gonna be blue, yellow, and orange. The blue is my install blade. It's soft, flexible, doesn't seem to scratch. Can it scratch? Absolutely, actually. I'm rubbing a little burr right here that I have some 1000 grit sandpaper here that I like to use to kind of buff the edges on these. Another little tip, a uh, good way to, uh, to keep refinishing the uh, edges of your, your hard cards, not just these, but your squared ones as well. So sandpaper. Anyways, so the blue is a good install blade. It's flexible. It doesn't tend, it's not too soft, but it it, it conforms better to the glass, uh, curves, things like that. And it's soft enough. It really doesn't scratch tint. It can, but it's a good one to use. I'm gonna skip the middle one and go straight to the hard one because there's a reason for this one. So the hardest one is the orange. Um, great for crushing out creases or really getting to an old corner that's really, really deep and you need that blade to stay rigid to push that little water pocket out. Uh, and that's what that one's designed for. It can scratch faster than the blue because it is a harder blade. So you wanna be careful with it, but it's a good finishing one. And then the yellow was made literally, on their website it says it was made for the person that wanted something a little bit harder than the blue and a little softer than the orange. So that's really what that is. So kind of the in-between. I don't know how well it would do crushing out creases, probably light ones, tiny itty bitty ones that aren't really hard creased, probably good for that. So that's those. 
And again, you've got the platinum easy reach, the gold easy reach. Those are both hard cards. Uh, I tend to just clean with those. Uh, they have a really sharp edge, so it's really nice to use those in the corners to help knock down any dirt or debris that might be in the side seals. So I use them for that, but I won't use them for install at all. They scratch really easily. So last but not least, hard cards. Now these come in all different shapes and sizes. I'm gonna just basically focus on these and any of the other shapes and sizes are gonna be different colors and they're gonna follow the same sort of rules. But keep in mind, if it's made by somebody different, the blue one in their category may not be the same as the blue in this category. So I'm gonna start from the softest to lightest. The blue in their lineup is the softest. It does, I mean, it feels like plastic, but it has that rubbery feel to it, easy to flex. Uh, the next one up is the pink one. So the blue and the pink card are their softest cards. Um, not really good for, you know, maybe shrinking, because obviously they're gonna warm up and they're gonna leave a lot of streaks behind, they're gonna grab on the film. But they're good for pushing down water if you need to use them for that. Um, but they actually designed them to be softer than the hard, car, uh, the hard coat on most window films so that the tool actually wears out before the film. Interesting, I didn't even know that. So they're designed to, the scratch coat for example, the hard coat that's on um, most of the window films today, uh, if you're using these as an install, these are designed to wear down before the scratch coat does. So pretty cool, something to think about. Uh, running up the list, your next one up is gonna be the silver. I like the silver, it's got a good firm feel to it and as you can see, with just my one hand, I can't bend it all that well, so it's a pretty hard. Now these don't have durometers that I was able to find. I'm sure they could do that, um, but they're so similar. It would probably be like a 91, 92, 92 and a half. That's how close they are in hardness. The next hardest is the black one. And then the next hardest, I like the black. I'm a fan of the black. I don't have the red, but the red one is a little bit harder than the black. The white one is very hard and harder than uh, the red and the black. I don't use them if they're that hard, but they'd probably be great for scraping. Uh, and then your gold card would be your absolute hardest in these types of blades. So same thing applies there. The harder the blade, the less it's gonna conform, the softer the blade, the more it'll con uh, conform. A lot of guys use those for shrinking. So if you're gonna use the softer one for shrinking, you're gonna probably heat it up pretty quick with the heat gun. Uh, so it's not gonna hold up very well. You're gonna wanna be medium to hard uh, if you're using them for, uh, for shrinking. Same thing with, uh, with these. Say you, you've got a little last minute finger that pops up or a tiny little bubble at the bottom of a window and you wanna blow a little heat on it. This is gonna heat up and get really soft really fast from, from the heat gun. So that's another reason to kinda consider these. This isn't the end all be all. You're basically watching this and I'm hoping that that's giving you a better idea of what you might think you need or wanna try. You're like any other tinter out there is gonna probably buy many of these, if not all of these, cause you're gonna wanna try them all out. Just know that in my experience, the softer blades like this, like the pink one I was talking about, uh, I really gave it a good try. I wanted to like it. I thought, man, that's it being rubbery like that. Great for cleaning. And it is, it cleans really, really well, but you only get one swipe out of it. And if you happen to, you know, most of us will swipe over, uh, we'll swipe over the wet portion and then you'll kind of do a half over wet and dry and it streaks. If you hit the dry portion of the glass with this, it streaks, it leaves scuffs. So it's really only good for a wet, wet squeegee, but probably great for PPF. So um, softer the squeegee, more it conforms, less water it pushes, the harder the squeegee or hard card, both cases. Uh, the softer it is, the better it conforms, the less water it pushes out, uh, the more it can bend or, or reshape if you're applying heat with it uh, or near it. Uh, and then the harder, obviously, you know, pushes out better water, just conforms a lot less and can scratch. So that's pretty much it for these. There's so many other squeegees and hard cards and, you know, things out there that I just don't have um, that maybe I'll see about making a video on maybe a different brand or a different type of hard card or something like that. But hopefully this just gives you a little better understanding or idea of what the softer squeegee means, uh, what it's good for, what the harder squeegee means, what it's good for, and what durometer means. You know, durometer 85 to durometer 92 is a pretty big hardness difference, but not big difference in numbers. So. That's it for this one. If you have any questions or you know want some opinions, reach out to me, Kevin Rogers, On Point Pro Styles in Gainesville, Georgia. 
definitely reach out to Tint Depot, which is where all these tools came from. I buy all of my stuff from tintdepot.com, my film, my tools, my handles, everything. Definitely check them out if you haven't been there. Go there, tintdepot.com. You know, if you have questions, reach out to them. They're happy to help, but I'm here if you need me. So catch you on the next one.